Let's move on to Africa now. Nigeria's anti-corruption agency has recovered nearly $30 million in an investigation into alleged fraud at a government ministry. The ministry itself is responsible for tackling poverty, the irony. The Minister of Humanitarian Affairs and Poverty Alleviation, Beta Edu, was suspended in January, less than six months after her appointment by President Bola Tinobu. The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission say the probe uncovered a system, an intricate web of fraudulent practices. The probe was ordered by the President, who came to power last year on a promise to revive growth and fight corruption. Nigeria has struggled for decades with endemic corruption among senior public officials. Despite being Africa's top oil producer and biggest economy, the country suffers widespread poverty. And for more on this, our correspondent in Nigeria, Louisa Olani, has sent us this report from Lagos. The corruption allegations rocking the suspended humanitarian and poverty elevations minister in Nigeria, Better Redu, seem far from over as the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, clears the air on the misinformation flying around, reiterating that no one has been cleared in the fraud investigation. The ministry, whose past and present officials are embroiled in controversy as billions of Naira and in foreign currencies have so far been recovered in the ongoing probe, which has also fingered banks involved in the fraud. The Commission has called on Nigerians to be patient with the process, assuring that there will be no sacred cows in the President Tinubu administration's fight against corruption. From Lagos, Nigeria, Louisa Olani, We On, World is One. For all the latest news, download the We On app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.